probably one of the reasons there are so many single men in this city. All right, let's go over to here to line 79. Hello, you're on Chatterbox. Hello, uh, is that Laszlo? Uh, yes. Oh, wow, on the radio. How exciting. Oh, thank you, Laszlo. Is this on the radio? I mean, am I actually on the radio right this second? Uh, uh, yes, you are. Uh, I'm sure it's very exciting. Oh, well, thank you. Uh, what do you want to talk about? Oh, man, I mean, what's the what else is there? I could go on and on all day, but you guys know how we just don't you, Laszlo? Oh, uh, not really. I mean, what's your name? What'd you call about? Oh, uh, uh, I'm sorry. I'm Maria. You know, Maria, like Mamma Mia. Only different, you know, but, you know, men. M-E-N. <laughs> oh, it's a dirty word. Only there's only three letters. You, you know what I mean? I mean, your broadcasts are all the same, aren't you? I mean, I heard about you. You're always at a boys' night. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What are you talking about? I, I, I'm married. Uh, one of those convenience jobs to protect you, I bet. My sister speaks highly of you, though I'm yet to be convinced that a guy Jin can offer anything but disappointment. Perhaps you could help deal with a situation that has me at a disadvantage. Of course, failure has its own disgrace. A Yakuza Kanbu is in custody awaiting transfer for trial. He is a valued member of the family. Break him out of custody and get him to the dojo at Bedford Point. Ninja period. You know, I had the Chinese stars and the nunchucks. This is not a period, lad, though. This is the way of life. Thanks to a strict vegan diet, I had the power of nine men. After morning meditation and a three bean salad, I could chop a bus in half. Sometimes, I even frame myself.
Go gnaw on a bone like a gorilla bath, though. Our ancestors didn't eat chicken wings. They did the one with nature and their ecosystem. Subsisting on a diet of nuts, berries, and leafy vegetables. Yes, and they threw stones at their own shadow and died of old age and fear at 24. Glad, though. Old. But let me answer the question. When I'm in trouble or tempted by those all-you-can-eat breakfast buffets with huge pans of juicy bacon... Can we get some bacon in here? Glad, though, I go back to bacon. I start the day with a fruity beverage, some meditation, and six hours of yoga. Next, I go open up my dog, now and then, and drink a few pints of pan pressed potatoes. And who wants a steak out of that? Okay, next caller, you are on Chatterbox with Reed Tucker. Yo, Reed, come to movies are dope. How about the good guys at once? Okay, first things first, my man, you need to stop the negative thing. And the best attack I've found is to just run away. That way, you can still fear in your life. Never know what you want to send from the like a bat. I don't want to hear about no tofu running away. I want to learn about being a ninja. Who's that? Actually, I do cover this early on in the book in chapter 45. It's called Stir Fry Your Prejudice. You see, I once thought like you before my master took me under his wing and taught me the joys of soy and origami. Concentration begins in the mind and spreads to all these... <laughs> language of the body, not the tongue, and the language of the body begins... Tucker is about to smash it into two half desks. Take it away, Reed. Ladies and gentlemen, I already visualized the desk into two half desks, and now I shall make it so. Dragon stance. Hey, yeah! Oh! Oh, oh Lando! Lando! I think I hurt my hand, but Pinky's all been the wrong way. This is Karate Kid. The desk is dealing with Pete. Thanks for coming on the show. Okay, Lando, mock me. Nowhere. I think I hate you now. Oh! 
I breathe easily. Don't throw any tofu or bean curds at me. Be very funny, man. You make fun of me, but it's all the fault of the clones way in here. Downright disgraceful. Yes, it makes you talk like this. Okay, the listener lines are open. This is Chatterbox. You're on the air. Hey, Leslo. That last guy was a lunatic. Where'd you dig him up from? The state movie bin? And that wacko you had going on about killer bees? What a moron. I mean, just read a newspaper. Killer bees. Uh, the evils of artificial sweeteners and soda pop. Roswell. It's all part of the government. <laughs>